Hey, today is February 5th and we're going to talk about premium payments. Now, I want you to recognize that I am going to be off the first part of February, so this has been pre-recorded. But let's talk about premium payments. What's happened here? Most likely when you took out your policy, uh, I asked you for checking account information or we established it was going to be bill paid. And let's assume it was checking account information. Most likely, immediately, the insurance company is going to draft your account right away for that first month's premium. They do that for one good reason. They want to make sure that the account information is good. You always have a 30-day grace period associated with that. If you've applied for insurance toward the end of your open enrollment period, the last week or so before... Um, the last day before your policy runs out. In all honesty, it can take the insurance company uh, a little while to get that policy issued because it goes through the marketplace, the marketplace then has to approve it, then it, they have to tell the insurance company, and then the insurance company has to send out uh, notice that the policy has been approved. That can take a week or two sometimes. I've seen it happen in as little as two or three days. It might take a while for the premium payment to get caught up, but once that policy is issued, it's effective and the premium needs to be paid. Yeah, Mark, I know that premium needs to get paid. Those grubby little insurance companies with their hands in my money. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's just the way life works here. So you can pay it, like I said, with an automatic bank draft taken right out of your account. That, I'll tell you, is always the best way. They'll do it almost immediately when the policy is applied for. And then typically, most insurance companies will do it like around the 28th of the month the last of the month for the following month or like the first of the month for the following month. If that didn't happen initially because the time frame was just too tight together, you might find where the first month it doesn't get drafted and then you do a double draft the second month. The best thing is once you apply for, just write it into your checkbook so that way it's not that big of a surprise. So if something like that happens, like I said, you could be in your grace period. And the grace period is typically one month. If a provider needed to call for authorization, most likely the insurance companies are going to say something like this, the policy is not paid current. What the insurance company did not say is the policy is inactive. They didn't say that. They just simply say the policy is not paid current. So as soon as, if there's claims during that grace period, as soon as that premium comes in, now the policy is paid through that claim date, the insurance company is going to pay its claims. They're going to honor it based upon how that policy is written. And with confidence, I can say I have never seen an insurance company in over 40 years of doing this not honor its claims when the policies are paid through that claim date. And so if you were to have any problems with that, you know, at the bottom of the screen, don't hesitate to give us a call. We're happy to uh, talk you through it, talk to you about how to call the insurance companies, and maybe we can even call the insurance companies for you. Happy to do that. That's what we're here for, to make sure that everything is as is expected. Hey, so what's going on at the MLD agency? Well, you know what? As I said, I'm out, but uh, I'll tell you next week, I'll pre-record uh, next week's topic, which will be for February 12th, and that's going to be on, ooh, pre-authorizations. Wow. Can't wait. <laughs>